Hi, this is the Hour of Power from Talking Shit with Jim Jeffries and Eddie Ift. I have been tapped to be the next designer for skanktees.com. I'm going to be working on some designs, uh, Jim and Eddie and I. And you're also go. modeling them, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to model them. Yeah, and, and what's Lolita have right now? She's got a skank tees, uh sexy, uh, like a strappy top thing. And why don't you explain what Skank Tees is, Jason? Skank Tees is an adult blog and website. They have 52 designs currently on the website modeled by uh, some pretty hot young girls. And uh, they sponsor our show, and they're friends of ours, and uh, they're a little dirty and a lot of fun. How do you find them? If you go to skanktees.com, S-K-A-N-K-T-E-E-S.com. Where else can you find them? You can also go to Jim and Eddie Talk Shit dot com and uh, follow the link through our I website. I hope you're not this high when you design their T-shirts. Well, that that's how you get creative. All right, um, thank you guys. Yeah, check out Skank Tees, uh, SkankTees dot com. Also, donations. Uh, we are still taking donations. You guys have been great help. If you want to donate, go to jimandeddy.com. It's very simple. There's packages. There's like five packages. Just click one. You donate anywhere from like 25. You get a poster. 50. You get uh, a T-shirt. Uh, 100. You get like DVDs uh, and T-shirts and posters. And 250. You get a shout out on the show. 500. Jason. All the shit and the shout out. 500. Jason writes a song about you and all the other stuff. And 1,000. You get to come hang out at the show, which we have done and mike white who was here can can attest that it was a fucking great time it ended up being two days and it was a good time um if you want to we are taking advertisers uh so we have a we have a chick that sells advertising uh monte carlo is our ad sales girl if you guys want to put an ad on the show you're a fan of the show and you sell something whatever you want to sell give us uh send us an email jim and eddie at yahoo.com you never know we might be able to find something before you put ads we've done it with skank tees we've done it with adam and eve.com uh so uh just uh, let us know and uh, send us an email. Uh, and, uh, you know, next week we're going to do the Collins again. So uh, listen for that. And again, that's Jim and Eddie at yahoo.com. You can always find us on our website, Jim and Eddie Talk Shit.com. Jim, where are you going to be coming up? I'm going to the Palms Casino coming up in Las Vegas uh, this coming weekend. Uh, Foxwoods Resort in Ma- whatever that is. It's Mash a casino. Uh, the Belly Up Tavern in Salona Beach. I haven't got that on my webpage yet. That's uh, that's down in uh, San Diego. I'm going to come doing down that. for that show. Are you? I like San Diego. I'm going to come there down There you for go. That. Well, Eddie will be there as well. Yeah. Uh, the Club Nokia gig is on November the 18th, and I will be doing The Grove in Anaheim on December 30th. Uh, and you can find me. I'll be at the Underground in Seattle, Washington, October 28th to 29th. The Funny Bone in Dayton, Ohio, November 3rd to 6th. I've got my Australia tour. Some of the shows are already sold out. Uh, November 21st to 26th. That's going to be in Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, and Sydney. Uh, go to ticketsalist.com.au to get tickets. And then I'm in Marco Island at uh, Off the Hook. Off the Hook Comedy Club. Yeah, so. Off the Hook. So, so, come for the food. Yeah. Stay for the comedy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so you guys get some get your tickets come out in the live show November 7th come out and see our live show at Wits End in Los Angeles Venice Beach we're doing the show uh, tickets are probably all sold out already so you can just stand outside to get Jason's autograph and now we're going to start the show because we have a fucking great show because our, our intern uh, far side is still getting a tattoo and we have an incredible guest a good friend of mine Ben Glebe so uh, and we're going to take it in with uh, I think Jason's going to play the song live this time <laughs> looking demonic. Two douchebags on a couch. One's an asshole, one's a grouch. And relentless out of their mouths. Jim and Eddie. Talk shit. Jim and Eddie. Talk Talk shit. shit. Jim and Eddie. Talk shit. Jim and Eddie. Talking shit. I thought... Lindsay, you were going to chime in and sing I was melody. going to, but I used my mic to, to make his so guitar really, more powerful. Can you solo it? Um, Thanks. So. Jim <laughs> No, don't ever do okay, that again. Okay, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Welcome, Ben Glebe. Thanks for coming here and being part of the Rape Cottage. This is um, <laughs> I've always wanted to be part of a Rape Cottage. Well, so. this is a Rape Cottage. Lily's Thank here. You. She'll take a rape. She's very sick and doesn't have a lot of strength. So Wow, you want to find them when their defenses are weakened. Yeah. 
He just made an eyebrow move, like like a Groucho Marx, like, want to rape me, kid? She, well, she really will let you. She hasn't gotten laid in a long time, and she can also give you something. It's not I, rape I, if they let you. Oh, well. She, yeah. You're in the cottage. Yeah. So yeah. Right. So I don't know the thing if you know about it. Sometimes, it. Oh, sometimes really? yeah. sex can start as a consensive thing, Follow and then the as you really get into it, it they're like, I don't want to do this anymore. And you go, uh, it's too, you we're in. Which brings us to <laughs> we're, we're already going now. That's like saying mid-airplane flight, I want off. Yeah, you can <laughs> Midway through a trip, you know, yeah. you're like, I don't want to be on acid anymore. I've, I've always no. wanted. <laughs> you're already on acid, big certain, guy. That's what's gonna happen. That's, certain things are all in in life. That's me. When I get high, I always go, make it stop, make it stop right now. And I wonder if when if you're fucking a girl and mid fucking, because I have been in this situation where a girl, and I fucking wish I could remember her name because I'd say it because she did it to me like three separate. times. I think you pronounce it, mum. <laughs> oh. I know that's how I pronounce it. See? I wish I could remember that she's the kind of girl she would file a lawsuit. Um, hey, she's picked up on a picture of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Raymond just just fucking googled uh, Kobe Bryant. That uh, was, by the way, that sorry to interrupt. That was the most classic fall of a rape case. Was the Kobe accuser when the fact came out? She'd had three other men's semen, semen in, in her sun. underwear that she hadn't changed in this three days of fucking. But the, oh, really? ar- the argument, uh, the argument yeah. is. That uh, that that doesn't ma- you you can still rape a hooker. Of course you can. Just no, but also the argument is that might have rubbed off Kobe's underwear. <laughs> 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 That's but hilarious. If, if you're, uh, L- Lily, you I want to hear the end of any story. If, if it was a size woman. forty. Yeah, if you're fucking a girl and in the middle of it, where she's giving you consensually, says you can fuck her, mm. and in the middle of it, she goes stop. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't stop then, and I'll tell you why. Because that that might be a thing that she. You need to have like a, a really mean it stop. Is it word. she's crying? Stop! Is it she's yelling? Like how is she saying she's stop? Punching me in the face? No. <laughs> <laughs> she's clawing once again. Mom. She's clawing away out of the room. <laughs> what? She, what she's if trying safe... to take the chloroform? Uh, Maybe you're, towel you're off hitting her, face. her pelvic bone, Eddie. Maybe that's yeah, that's, that's, that's why I'm. A, that's talk. why I'm a big fan of the gag ball. <laughs> the gag ball. As soon as I consent to put that in, no complaints. I don't, no complaints. It's I very don't. Quiet. I don't condone necessarily the topic of the conversation, but I will say one idea is if the safe word is keep going. Yeah. That's what I try to do with them. Yeah. If the safe words keep going, no, it's you very know, confusing you know, at the moment. You know, I always the, make the better my... safe word is anal. Yeah, it's, that's what I was going to say. I was like, that's when it's rape, when it's vaginal, and then it goes anal without letting the girl know. Then I think that's when stop comes in. It's like, whoa. No, that's my, that's my, that. my safe you word. Gotta, you got to let the girl My safe know. word when I like a girl is Jason. Right? <laughs> because then I know that I'll want to stop as well. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, what's your safe word? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 you, you, I have Hi. to explain. No, you, yeah, you've never, yeah, you've yeah. never had a word where you're having sex where a girl might want you to stop because you don't have sex. Mace. <laughs> That's your safe word is mace. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use for contraception? The face. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jason. I said to him before the show, I go, "Can you be funny this episode? You were too stoned." To I hate episode. tall people. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate tall people? That goes back to last they week. They creep me out. Last episode, we were like talking really about really tall people. One second, Jason. We were talking about what our pet peeves were on the last episode, and Jason couldn't come up with any, and he just fucking chimed in with one now. We're on Too another late. episode, Jason. <laughs> now, we're, we're in this episode, we should mention that the far side is still in the room. This has been carried over. The far side is being tattooed as we speak. Um, and later on, we will get Jason to talk to him in the other room while we sit here. And I have had, he has already finished where he put my <laughs> name on his body. I now have my name tattooed on a man's body, and I don't feel good about it. You know what I liked? I thought the font for our names was going to be a bit goofy, <laughs> but instead they went for like that romantic writing. <laughs> like, like, like either we're like, like he's Mexican and we're two of his friends that have died. <laughs> <laughs> the ink's made of lace. Yeah. It's like and there's a little lock around it with a heart. <laughs> no, I'm just really sad that like the only thing that's going to be permanent in my career is my name on Farside's back. <laughs> A mate of mine. A <laughs> That's mate, probably true. A what ma- if Farside becomes really famous, <laughs> like, like much bigger than us, and he's shown his tattoos on like 60 Minutes, and they're like, what's this one? He's like, oh, yeah. it's a big I fucking mistake. Well, I always, I always <laughs> think like, that, Mr. President, who I, is Jim Jeffries an idiot? <laughs> I, I, I always think that about like when they did the Lord of the Rings, everyone who was in the first episode, the Fellowship of the Rings, everyone who went and hunted for the ring, they all got a tattoo, including Ian McKellen. They all got a tattoo on their arm, and they all went and did it together. Uh, and I kind of think that's cool. And it is cool because it's Lord of the Rings. 
but like you wouldn't want to blow your load on one of your earlier films when you're like, you're like, ah, oh, shit, I never thought I'd do better than Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> and now I've got this tattoo. Well, first of all, and that's what like that is. Toupee. That's a Weekend at Bernie's tattoo he's getting <laughs> yeah, right now. Is. Yeah, is Ben true. Affleck getting Geely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I reject your whole premise, though. Fuck Lord of the Rings. That movie's not good. That's horrible. You Maybe d- if you uh, read if, the book. If you go into a bit right now, I'm going to kill you. Oh, I would never <laughs> in my life go into a fucking bit while sitting on the, on the couch in the condition that I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so have you read the books, Cohen? Uh, no, I, I haven't read the book. Oh, there but the you go. first movie, three hours deep, it ends with the fucking asshole in the forest. Just walking still. I love those. There was movies. no end. It's a lot of I, walking. I can tell the greatest Lord of the Rings story ever, I but, I, but I feel Wouldn't bad. Wouldn't that be Lord of the Rings? <laughs> no, this is better <laughs> This is better than the Lord of the Rings. Like it's fairly well reviewed. This has to do with the casting of Lord of the Rings that they told me on Kevin and Bean when I was doing the Kevin and Bean show, and, and Mike, Psycho Mike, swears by this story. They had on, who's the, Elijah Woods, the star, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was on Kevin and Bean. He Went told, on to do Wilfred. He, he told them off air. <laughs> <laughs> That's filmed in Venice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we know. I no. He told them off air, Vin Diesel loved Lord of the Rings so much that he wanted to be in it so badly that they wouldn't even give him an audition. They were like, no, you're just not right for the part. So he filmed himself. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't, do, he didn't do like a script reading. He did a video of himself sitting on a, in a big chair by a fireplace holding a chalice. No. Reading the Lord of the Rings and then he sent the, the, the disc or the, the clip or whatever to uh, Peter Jackson. Now, Peter Jackson has this. Oh, whenever has whenever has they were all on the set and morale was down, <laughs> <laughs> he would gather the crew and the actors together and play this fucking clip. Well, see, the Vin, Vin <laughs> Diesel could have played like an org or something. It's not like he, he could have played one of the fucking but guys. But But why did he go, I'm going Hobbit. Because he's a fucking douche, and I will say that about Vin Diesel. He's always Hobbit. wanted to portray hairy feet because because the, the guy who's the Hobbit now in the new movie, The Hobbit, like the Hobbit Hobbit, right? Because they're making that right now. Yeah, is the bloke who Martin Freeman who played oh, yeah. who played the equivalent, the Jim Tim in the Office in the British Office. The guy Tim. Oh, I love him. Tim, yeah. whose go-to move is. Say your punchline, or wait for somebody else to say something, then look in six directions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still funny, right. though. That's what he does. He does he's, like a clockwise he's, he's Ben Norris's uh, cousin, isn't he? Is he really? Yeah, yeah, they're cousins. They're exactly, ben Norris is a comedian. They're exactly the same guy, and it's easy to tease Ben by going, yep, they've already got one of them. <laughs> yep, yep, they don't need two. They don't need two. Uh, ben Glebe, who's our guest, uh, very funny comedian, but what he's more well-known in my world is, I've never seen anyone <laughs> that can fucking eat like Ben Yes, Glebe. thank you very much. No, I, mean, I know him as the guy who picks up all the hot chicks. I went to his birthday. <laughs> it was he Hot does. Chick City. And you, I consider myself to be as ugly as you. You're not a great-looking guy. <laughs> what do you... Let's be honest, I'm much better looking than Okay, you're, you're better looking, <laughs> but not stupid better no, looking. No, no, definitely not. Barely. So what do you do? You're What's not you? better looking than me. Is he better oh, looking Eddie. than me? I'm Eddie. better looking than you, Eddie. <laughs> no, you're not. No, here we right, go. Eddie, your girls. reflection's better looking than you are. Shh, shh. It's time to ask the two women in the room. Lindsay, objectively, who's better looking, me or Eddie? Picture me like when I do my hair. I haven't done my hair. <laughs> Pic- picture me without my shirt on. <laughs> yeah, actually, picture me without my shirt on because it's pretty. I'm pretty, not going to answer the that. That's cool. You should have something sexier to say. No, no, no. You just well, say. You, you just say the name. Lily Jim, wants to fuck Jim because he'll Jim, choke her. Jim. I, no, no. Just looks. Looks alone. Oh. Looks alone because I know if you've even said that I have a better sexual energy than Eddie. You have yeah, said that. It's about the energy. Yes, I, I do have a sexual. Energy. But you know, Eddie does have a kick-ass body. Yep, yeah, that's all about that, body. I will give that to him. I have a twinkle in my eye. <laughs> I think it comes down to the to the penises. It's a battle of the penis. Like who has the better penis? His Whip looks like a Ku Klux Klan. Wait, she, Please, you just don't asked her it. which one was better <laughs> looking, then she it. says it's all about the penis. Yeah, no, just to look, if we were to walk down the street, you'd look at Eddie first. Are you saying say if you're saying to walk down the street, you would look at Eddie first? Um, not if he's wearing a hat, because I'm not a big fan of hats. Not if I'd he's, probably look not, at if you he's not wearing a ski mask. Because yeah. I, I don't <laughs> okay. like things that conceal people, so I would look right. at you. Because right. I can see your eyes. So, okay, no, so take your hat off, Eddie. Make okay. it fair. Eddie. My hair's messed up. Eddie, you're up. very good looking. Yeah, but guy. I haven't done my hair either. You never do your hair. I do when I go out. You look like a retard. He's got the uh, worst hat right now. I'll tell, <laughs> he looks like a nine-year-old. I'll tell you what. You could be played by Martin Short right now. Why do you look like Martin Short? <laughs> if the question was, who would you want to help? 
<laughs> All right, so now you're looking. The toys are walking oh, down. As we look right that now, that's made it a lot easier, <laughs> Jim. Ooh, that's tough. Just a haircut. Because <laughs> now you look a little bit more like Twitchy. You just set her off. You know, you that, know, he cuts his own hair, don't you? My, my boyfriend. Hair. Oh, you mean my boyfriend? His hair is kind of like Eddie's. <laughs> my boyfriend. <laughs> 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 my doppelganger is Martin Short. They just pulled up the if, funniest if I saw Eddie picture on the of Martin beach, Short. Yeah, totally Eddie. I think it depends on the circumstance. I would say this: Eddie is. I think Lolita Flounder probably better looking. However. Interesting. Jim's dark and mysterious. Interesting. You know, give him a shot. I do, and give I him a shot. I have Look a, at those shoes. I have a like swagger. I'd like to th- say sure. that there's a definite swagger. I don't know how how this conversation devolved. I got left out of the fucking. <laughs> no, 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 the thing is, yeah, the thing is, they stacked the game. The next thing is, yeah, the next thing is, Michael, have him tattoo my name on his back during the show too. Does Ben beats both of us, doesn't he? No, I mean, yes or no, be uh, honest. Don't be swayed by your animal instincts. <laughs> Just uh, prey on you. Um, Is that right? I don't know. Like, I actually would probably gravitate towards them because when I met you at the comedy club, I and just wanted to lie to you. And that's. <laughs> <laughs> she did lie to me, actually. About what? She, I, she said I she had a boyfriend. I don't exactly remember. Yeah, exactly. I don't exactly remember it I it told crisply, him I was a journalist. She told me, I, was, I think that yeah, rings a bell. Go ahead. No, you tell it. I, I told him I'm a journalist because he kept asking, like, who, what are you doing here? Do you teach your clients to and, lie? And really? I was, well, no, it's just interrogate. I don't know. I was protecting myself, actually. Oh, yeah. And um, I told him I was going to write an article instincts. about him. Tell so him he wouldn't leave me alone. Lane. He's like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? I was like, I don't Were know. Were you hammered? Were you hammered, Ben, when that Probably. happened? Yeah. See, I'm, I'm all for did that. I, did I tell you to do that? No, I just. Because I do it with all my friends when they go to a club. They're it? like, oh, everyone here is ignoring me. I go, say you're an agent, say you're a reviewer, and watch them just kiss your ass. Yeah, exactly. And, and I, you wouldn't leave my every, side. It was yeah, cute. Every time I have friends <laughs> with me that are an agent, you should just see the comedians. That did not kiss happen. I promise you, I do not follow agents around the paranoid. floor of the improv. I follow, if I followed you around, it's because you're hot. It's not because I thought you were an agent. Oh, that's kind of sweet. I told a friend of mine to act like an agent at a show once, and a comedian took him outside and goes, so what'd you think? And he goes, you call that comedy? <laughs> oh. I thought the comedian was going to cry. I had to let him off the hook. I'm like, that's hilarious. I'm like, Lawton, that was mean. Don't do that. And he's like, well, you <laughs> fucking told me to do it. I go, I didn't tell you to tell the guy you sucked. <laughs> I, I, was on, I was on a podcast in uh, Toronto, and the, the, the guys are probably listening. They're nice lads. They're, two they're great y- guys. The, yeah, they're two young lads that run the, hey, are you so met Topher? I met Topher, the dick sucker. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to- Tove is this guy. He's like quite a good looking young bloke. He's a pretty good comic. He's starting out in the world. And, and he thinks it's right to tell me that when he was 14, he used to suck a black kid's cock down the road. And he thought yeah. that was a normal conversation. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gay. I'm positive I'm not gay. Yeah, yeah. Just How many do conversations it? deep into the friendship does well, that happen? Well, the thing happen? is, so I start bringing it up on the podcast. Now Tofa's mum follows me on Facebook. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I, I, show, oh, anyway. I, I show up in Toronto. Jim's told me about it. I walk in and they're like, hey, do you need anything? I'm like, where's the guy that sucks cock? <laughs> did you do that for? Because I told you, you did do it. All right. Yeah, oh cool. my God. That so, reminds and I want, me. I, I want to apologize to those guys. I'm sorry I couldn't do the podcast. I want to do it. I just wasn't able to. I had to get out of Toronto the next morning. I'm sorry. I um, Well, I did their podcast. And these guys, I, I don't know if, the, if anyone's heard the podcast of these two folks who did it. But uh, What is it? Let's say it. Let's well, give them a plug. I, I will. I've got to remember the fucking name. So I'll plug it on the next one. But the, the two, you know, it's, 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 it's Rob and Topher are the guys who do it. Oh, anyway. These two lads are doing quite well in comedy. You know when you start getting your breaks and you're earning a bit of cash and you're moving up in the world? <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's one that called Hanging Out with Robin Topher. That's the a, one. A, a vegan pot, vegan bod build, vegan bod building in... Oh, really? no, that's not, no, that's not theirs. Yeah, I don't think Robin and Topher are fucking eating. That's Topher no, you Grace, because I like you just read, you, you just read Rodden and uh, Tofu. Anyway, that was a bad joke, didn't we? Topher Grace, anyway, anyway so, so the thing is, this is the thing, right? So they're starting out. Now, there's this moment in comedy, and I think you'll probably remember this bit, when you start out with a whole lot of open spots, and then there's a class of you that all go, all right, we're off to make money. Yeah. And then there's the rest of them where you're like, Good luck. And you knew you're sort of mates with these people, but it's like, you're not going to make it, right? It's funny. It's almost like being in the wild kind of, you realize you got to leave that like weak, yeah. wounded <laughs> animal behind. You're like, yeah, you're let like, me tell you. In you just my, don't acknowledge it. You don't in, look in, at it. Either. In my starting class, two of those guys I said good luck to were Dimitri Martin and Ed Helms. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, well, no, 
and I'm going to tell you, we don't see much <laughs> of that Ed Helms stand up anymore, do we? Yeah. So anyway, there's this lad in Toronto who's just not cutting it, right? So what they do is they, they were sort of mates with him because they all went to a comedy school together, which if you're a budding comedian, don't do that. Just fucking go out and do it. Anyway, so, so what they do is they get comics on their podcast like famous comics to come on or me and Eddie, right? And they get, them, they get us to come on the podcast and then you ring up this bloke saying that you're coming to do gigs in Toronto and you need a support act. And this guy falls for it every time because one day that call might actually happen. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, I want to mention- And I was like, I don't want to do it. They go, no, no, blame us. And I was like, all right. What, what's the name of their show? The Glory Hole? <laughs> no, I just found that. I thought it was hilarious. I think it is their it show. It is something like Glory, Glory Hole something, Podcast. Yeah. Glory Hole Podcast. So, so if, if you're listening to podcasts and you're a fan, listen to them. They're good guys. The, the Glory Hole Podcast. Um, I want to mention, I got to find out his name because I'm going to burst his little bubble right now. Some fucker was saying rude shit about me on, on Twitter. And so I found out he was a comedian. And so I just wrote him a, a Twitter and said, hey, would you like to open for me? And he's written me like 10 Twitters going, oh, my God, when? When can I open for you? And I gave him like five dates. I was, <laughs> was going to let him book flights. But no, you're not fucking opening for me, you cunt. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 You know what you should do next, Eddie? Find an old lady in a wheelchair and push her down the stairs. All good. If she, if she Twitters, yeah, cool yeah, push cool if she twitters bad shit about me, I'll push an old lady Eddie, Oh, Eddie. is that what happens to someone yeah. Twitter bad shit about yeah, you? Then me. Yeah. asked if he could open for you? Yeah, no. No, no, no. He was though. trashing him on the net. So Eddie rang to him and said, oh, can oh, you know, that's fair. But though. still, there is a that's thing calling fair. called being the bigger man. Yes, there is. But like you do that. Oh, I'm not a big You've man. You've told an entire <laughs> nation I'm not a to big fuck man. off. Here. <laughs> it's yeah. coming from a guy who there told no the entire continent here. of Australia. I told Australia to fuck <laughs> off. Because, yeah, right. Well, I, I had a bad run, yeah. right? I... I, I <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'd, I'd had a night where I bumped into two Australians who were rather rude to me and told me that I was shit and not funny because a lot of Australians have this tall poppy syndrome thing about like if they haven't heard of me and I've done it overseas they're like oh I don't think it's very funny I like fucking whatever so, right, right. but in saying that I'm selling through the fucking roof in Australia right now so thank you for supporting me um, but I'm going to please everybody yeah but the thing was there was a group was every, I just met two in a row right. right and one was in the club one was walking down the street going I think you're fucking shit mate and I never get that from Americans and I was right. like you know what fuck Australia you can all fuck off and yeah. I might have been drunk and told them several times during Twitter <laughs> and then I woke Through up Twitter you yeah, oh, I told 40,000 people go. to yep. fuck Australia yep. and I had to I had to apologize the next day sorry Australia let Thank me say this though Jim you you get predominantly your, your feedback is all good right and no 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 that's why I stopped looking at the internet no you, I, don't, I don't read any clips per, of me but under, percentage under YouTube what, clip. what percentage is good and what's bad uh, percentage is 90 10 okay right and, and I would say it's somewhere around the same line now Jason, I read the stuff that comes over for Jason, and it's probably the opposite. 10% is nice, 90% is fucking evil, and he never snaps once. You've never criticized anyone that's criticized you. He doesn't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> I've never criticized a hater either. I just reply to them. And I'll, I'll just at reply them and say thank you. Well, so this, is, this is the thing about haters, and I hate to get all fucking, oh, the haters out there. But it is, I've never written a nasty thing on anyone's... Me neither. Yeah. Right, me either. You know, I've done stupid things like what we did to the Apple Sisters. It's called passive-aggressive. I mean, but I've never... Yeah, it's I've so never, weird. I've never had that, like, I hate that band, therefore they must know. <laughs> yeah. I stop acknowledging that band right. exists. It's like the pettiest, weirdest thing. Sometimes, like... I'm astounded most of sometimes the comments when they want you to get less work. They like actually will like stop booking that guy on your show. Oh, Chelsea. I got it. I got it. It's like real. Maybe you don't like me. Say that. Don't so much so that don't they try want to and get me your, fired. Your I, I got to tell you one that happened to me it was on 9/11 on the anniversary. I turned on the TV and I turned it on and then it was like 9/11, 9/11, 9/11 and I, I I didn't want to be disrespectful or anything, but I sent a Twitter out that was very simple. That was, does anyone know the date? That's right that's now, funny. it was just a, that's this funny. was on the anniversary. Yeah. It's like ten years that's later. Funny. It's not even that big. Of a, it was yeah, funny. It was just a funny little pissy little yeah. comment, right? Underneath it, a lot of my British fans gave the old "fuck America" type of speech, right? But from my British fans, hey, I love you too. Looking forward to seeing you next year. Anyway, so <laughs> these are all that. So a guy, right, takes a fucking photo of what I said. What date is it? And all the co comments underneath. He sends it to 
every email, the entire emailing list for HBO, the entire emailing list for Showtime say, with the title, Jim Jeffries is saying un-American comments. And Jesus. I got, fa- he literally said it to three, 400 people. What? And I did it. And I had to send a blanket That's statement a going, joke. it's a joke, people. I'm not trying to belittle the situation. But I had one of my fans wrote to me, one of my fans, one of the people going, I'm so glad I caught this Twitter. Now I won't feel so bad about throwing your tickets away I bought to see you in Boston. And You're I'm like, like, but you bought them already. Yeah. And oh I, my God. And I went like that. And I wrote back, I'm glad that I've caught you now because there's many other offensive jokes in the actual show. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a good thing that we've been caught now. And I offered her money back and she went, no. Yeah, no, I'm going to stay and watch yeah, you. By the, way, <laughs> by, by the way, there was one of our listeners that said, when, when I, I Twittered that we're doing our live show, and we, we don't have many seats. We're doing a small venue. And some guy goes, you know what? I'm going to buy all the seats and then not have anyone show up just to see you. So your stupid faces, what you got. And I was like, we'll just add a second show, you dumb cunt. Like, you know, what, if it sells out that quickly and one person, but we'll fucking, we'll, we'll uh, start a second show. Uh, even even better, sell out all, buy all the tickets and then we'll just, Go there and not do a show. Yeah, just or, yeah. just or, keep or, doing it like an empty uh, audience. Or, You're fucking yeah. killing me. Or our second show will start a minute after our first one. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. is a fantastic new sausage place that opened up right next to the Wits End. Really? Yeah, it's called. Well, maybe we'll have a porn star pitch. on the show and it'll fit perfectly. Yeah. You still uh, show is, is your done? mangina to people it's a lot. Amazing. Have I showed you my mangina, dude? I saw you do your mangina on stage in Atlanta in front You've of. You've done a mangina on stage. Hundred and thirty people. How drunk was I? Dude, when you, me, and Burt Kreischer and Marshall think, Trials were doing the virtual comedy heroes tour, remember yeah, this? And uh, took that, the nation by storm. Yeah, it was a fucking sellout everywhere. It was a oh, huge. Yeah. You can't prove us wrong. There were virtual audiences there. There were virtual. It was virtual. Sellouts. I, I love it when they decide to put four comics together and give it a wacky name. Like all of a sudden, it's going to be different from a normal comedy show. Yeah, yeah. it was a. It was that was when we did the, the, idea the, the, the Duke was rape. It, the Duke rape. Right. Reenactment. We right. talked about it. Bert's been Bert on Reich. it. Oh, you talked about it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't remember doing the mangina. You did a mangina. Yeah. Were you yeah. the rape victim? I took a picture of it and then deleted it an hour later in horror. I I, I, I show my <laughs> testicles at a drop of a hat. Yeah, I've been doing that a lot. <laughs> Especially if you have a hat covering your testicles and then just drops. I have been naked on them. stage probably. You know, the first time I was you naked mangina, on stage, dude. Andy Dick. Andy Dick talked me into getting naked on stage and running across the stage during the show, and I did it. But uh, I, I got yelled at about Andy Dick's penis one time. I've only been naked. How on did stage you get yelled at once? about another man? How did penis? you get yelled at about Andy Dick's penis? Um, because I was at the time producing and running Comedy Juice with Scotty, right, with uh, Scott Richardson, yeah. and Andy Dick shows up pretty wasted. I'm sure that's a shock. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, the, the tattoo artist just walked through the room to go out and have a cigarette. Uh-oh. And, yeah, here's uh, Farside. And Farside's just in here with a really solemn look on his face. Turn around. Let us, going, let us see buddy? how it's going. No, it's, done. It's, done. It's, it's done. It's finished? It's done. This is it? Oh. Dun, right. dun, 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 dun. Turn around. Andy Dick's dick can wait. Yeah. It We've all seen us. Andy Dick's dick in this room, by the way. Really? Or, yes, uh, all of us. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. That looks good. That looks it's good. A great tattoo. It looks like Cloudy with a chance of meatballs right there. <laughs> I think that's your best tattoo. It is. That is your that best is tattoo. That is your best tattoo. It's your first foray in the color, that's for sure. Right, stay, 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 stay. stay. Oh, no, you I can't believe my name is on a man's back. Your dream come true, Eddie. The only thing I, I've ever had on a man's back is what my the, cum. Don't touch it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I thought that they're, they're inverted marks. I thought they were little bits of cum on the side of the name. Have you wow. seen it? Talking shit. Jim Jeffries, Eddie Ift. Four. Put it in a big yeah. heart. Put it in a big yeah. heart now. All we need are... All you know what I like? You know what I like? If he wears an old t-shirt with the neckline's fucked up, it'll just say Jim Jeffries. <laughs> <laughs> That's if he wears his flash dance shirt. Now listen. Now listen. 15 more of these. 15 more people getting tattoos. And Jason is going to get the one that's on our website. Of It's a it's a stick figure of Jim and I tag I teaming a homeless mean. woman and Jason fucking Duke. Hey, that didn't take too long. I always hear people saying it took eight hours to do that tattoo. No, if you wanted to do the photo ones, like the, the, the family. Oh, oh, and he's going to do the final one for free. Oh, we're paying for this one? Yeah, that would take out <laughs> 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 I, I want to say uh, uh, fucking 
Everybody, raise your glass pass, right now for Far Side. That's incredible. That is what a fucking. I'm gonna that, I'm gonna the, write a song about Far Side. Absolutely, yeah, Far Side, yeah. you're getting a song, buddy. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, oh like my God. God. God! No one wants your fucking songs. <laughs> 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 the way you say that, like it's currency, is yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it's all, yeah. it's love. Yeah, love. Do you ever go into the coffee shop and go, "You're getting a jingle"? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how do you feel? How do you feel about the tattoo? Do you like it? I haven't really seen it yet. I, it's one of those ones that I'm going to be... You're never going to see I'm going to forget I have this, and I'm going to be like washing my hands or something, and I'm just going to... Oh, shit, I have a... You there's know, going to be you, moments, in your, moments in your life. You'll be out at having dinner. You'll be having a good time. You'll be laughing, and then you'll go, I have men's names on my back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The, only, the, only, the good thing about having two men's name on your back is the only time it'll be seen is when another man's fucking you from yeah. behind. <laughs> I tell you what, I know you work for Nick Swartz's, but it's probably best you don't get his name on your back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say why. Because <laughs> it would be painful. Farside! Farside, where does it rank on your tattoos now, on oh, your list? It's number two. <laughs> What's number one? The anchor. Uh, this one. Oh, oh the, the projector. projector. Yeah, the projector. Not your grandpa's anchor? But you know what's nice? You have a bit of red now. Yeah, I, well, yeah. You have never had I've red a- ink. I don't, no, no, I haven't. I have a question for you. If you got a tattoo on your chest of a fat man, <laughs> and then you lost a lot of weight, <laughs> do you think you both would get skinny? <laughs> <laughs> That's not. That is happen. a very good question. <laughs> it's, it's cryptic. Or you know, would he just be a wrinkly man? No, the thing is, I, I will give you this. It's, it's like your, Benjamin Button. It's, it's your also. body. If you want to black it out and make it into a bigger tattoo, that's up to you. But I think it looks pretty outstanding. Plus, it's a side that's awkward to cover up. I can't wait to email the Todd Glass the Todd Glass podcast and tell them take off his shirt. I I want to become a pedophile just so that you're embarrassed. (laughs) 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 So that he always has a pedophile's name written on it. (laughs) (laughs) This is pretty deep, Jim. (laughs) I'd be more proud if you became a pedophile just because of my tattoo. (laughs) Wait, so so, to- uh, Farside also wa- works on the Todd Glass podcast. That's that's your other job, right? Mm. Yeah, he's got that written on his cock. So, so would all our all <laughs> our li- all our listeners <laughs> all our listeners email the Todd Glass podcast yeah. and tell them to take his shirt off and look on his back <laughs> and make him get. W- I think Todd has to get one too. I think now. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to have to get a Todd you Glass. You, you, Todd know Glass you know what Todd Glass will get tattooed on him? The warning before the improv show. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very in-joke there for comics. Uh, Todd Glass does the warning before the show. I love how it was, I would like, up until a couple of years ago, it almost felt a little drop of taboo when he would drop the shit bomb in that speech in that opening video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't give a shit. People are like, whoa, this is a video. The, the first, out of- he's done yeah. a bunch of those. This whoa. one's really funny. He did one once that was like aggressive. And oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. one. And it was like about. people, the, people would be sitting like, about. "Yeah, we're the comedy show. This is gonna be fucking great." And that's then Todd comes up and be like, "Hey, you shut the fuck up and turn your like. cell phone exactly. off." Exactly. And the whole audience I don't give a like, shit. "Really? We can't." It place? was like, "Don't talk. I know you think you're just talking to your friend. You know what it sounds like? That's yeah. like, nah, 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 <laughs> shut up." Yeah. And so. he is, I remember the first time I was in a comedy club, going, "This is fucking militant." Man. But you know who my father is? I don't give a shit who your father is. I don't give a fucking mayor. Don't fucking talk on my show. It was a very. And now he's got one where he's got one where Jim Brewer's in the background doing stand-up. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I shot one with Kyle Cease that he said was a, chosen to be the official one and never Why would came you want to be involved with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to, Why would you want to be involved? Like, like that's like saying, oh, I, yeah, I got I asked to be a Nazi. <laughs> and, but, that you know, is a pretty strong analogy. No, I'm going to get, get a lot of coverage. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, you know. It was a funny thing, actually. It was this like weird, surrealist little short film. I had to throw water in Angela Johnson's face. It was a good bit. Angela. What did you say? Angela. Angela Johnson. Angela. She's married now. Do you hear about that? Is she really? Locked it down. Christian. I, I would assume. Yeah, they're boom, boom, Christians. Boom, boom, boom. Give yeah. me some of that. They're like only. Give me some of that Christ. Boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some of that Jesus Christ. No, Give they don't do that. That's taking, that's taking the Lord's name in vain. They don't do that. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I'm a big fan. The of, Lord's son. In I, as, as an atheist, I am a big fan of, uh, what's the, blas- taking blasphemy. The Lord's, yeah. Love a bit of blasphemy. I like a little blasphemy Jesus too. Christ. You're never going to get anything as good as saying Jesus Christ. It's true. Why is it blasphemy? The, the, the fucking word is blasphemous. What does that even fucking mean? Like, why do people take one book? It's like the best book. I have a, lot, I have a favorite movie too. I don't fucking pray to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, but if you had like- Is it yeah, the notebook? 
<laughs> Bingo. That's mine too. Bingo. Is that your favorite book? It's I, I could see you reading a chick book like that. No, actually, uh, I am a huge. I read a lot of. I don't. Know, I read a. No, Augustin, you don't. I read a lot of Augustine Burroughs. He's very funny. Uh, yeah, we've never. Who's that? I've never heard. He's of really him. funny. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Running with write? Scissors? What does he write? Uh, Books? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's yeah, not no, Augustine Burroughs. Good. Yeah, no, that's, that's him. That's Sedaris. No, well, that was... A, no, I it's Augustine Burroughs is the writer of the book, and then they made a movie. Adaptation. I thought Sedaris wrote Running with Scissors. The movie adaptation. I thought sure. that was a name of a very obscure John... Uh, What's his name? Who's that's his fake John name. Irvin. Who, no, who's the guy who does the parody of songs? Weird, Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al Yankovic. He had a CD yeah, yeah, called yeah, Running with Scissors. Did he? I, th- I think Lindsay's just trying to throw out smart references. No, Lily, and she just well, got back, busted. Let Lily back Google, this. Google, Roy. Google. Augustine Burroughs is a famous author. I've seen him speak several times. He's from my neck of the woods. Okay. He's from the Look uh, up Sedaris. East Coast. See what Sedaris wrote. There we go. No, she's right. She's right. Yeah, yeah. he's insane. Now he, put the Weird Al Yankovic one in. He's about six books. They're all fantastic. <laughs> it has a song called I'm Pretty Fly for a Rabbi. It's pretty good. <laughs> he has some good spoofs, Very man. Very different yeah. I got something I should memorize, man. On the His whole Off the Deep End album I would memorize. Whoa, whoa, I think this whoa, Star Wars whoa. one. I love hold Amish on, Paradise. Hold this on. Is hold about. on. Everybody quiet down for one second. You all missed something great. What? <laughs> Say it, Jason. Was it Selma Hayek again? The, the year that that... Like he did like this reunion Christmas special deal, Weird Al did, and mm. he had like all the videos, like the girls with the ton tattoos, the, the Nirvana spoof, and all the different videos. Is this what I missed? Get, that was great. Get on. Well, I was an extra in that video. <laughs> You're an extra in that video. Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Now we have to watch. What's it. What's the name of the video? Well, I mean, I don't know if you can see what me. Of course the... you can. Find... Were you moving a washer and dryer? <laughs> no, but were you a Costco was... employee? <laughs> no, what That's happened the great was my, thing my roommate. Missed. He did catering in a video for Weird Al Yankovic. No, he was probably the coffee My roommate first played time. the security guard. Was it just in that bit of street that you hang out in? <laughs> Were you just an extra by accident? Like couldn't move no, you? No, but that what, happened what actually. Wait, wait, Jim, that happened. What do you call, the area? Wait, wait, do you Jim, call the area that he hangs out? Whoa, whoa. What do you call it? That area that he... Where yeah, but he, I had a nickname. I forgot. Yeah, you have an... I was it? an accidental extra on Californication this year. What's it? Everyone in Venice is. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, the company was right there. I was sitting what, there what is at that, Groundwork. Uh, What's that area that he calls your What an area? LA conversation that was right there. The, pavement, the patch. Uh, the, I was, the patch. The patch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's on the patch. I was an accidental extra in Californication. Everyone in Venice is. Wait, so you don't have to... Uh, wait, Farsad, I'm sorry to interrupt. Do You don't have to cover is that, that up or anything? Or, don't you put Thank plastic you. over Thank it you. or... Yeah, I have a paper towel on it. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've got all the good equipment. Paper towel. Paper towel. Paper towel. You meant to have like a medical swab <laughs> with that tape. You got a bit of paper it. towel ruffled up. Blood seeps right through they it talk immediately. They talk about Grey's Anatomy all the time. We need paper towels. Mm-hmm. Now we have them. It was something about Runaway Children, 1996. Were you in the for Runaway Train? Why is this even an interesting... Why, who cares about that? We, no, I, we want to see him. I, I'm kidding. I'm it joking. It was my life. We care I know, about it's everything Jason does. I was just trying to be mean. You don't remember this song. You, you were on the set. No, 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 no. It was, a, it was, mean, a, it was okay. a Christmas okay. special. <laughs> that was yeah. a it nice wasn't a video. It wasn't a song. Everyone just said, it's okay, Ben. You should do it. Ben, that was the nicest thing Jason's heard all year. It, it was nice. the uh, it was uh, something lost children or children. I wish children. you hadn't been born. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. All Jason. right. So there's lyrics. Ninety six. He's gonna flash. Ninety six. Ninety six was the year. Lost children. Oh my god. It was a TV special. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had all the like. The sure it was. Missing persons. You know, Weird Al plays instruments on some of Ben Fold's albums. Like seriously. Oh, wow. Really? really? Yeah, he's a really good musician. Sings backup on some on some of the tracks. Yeah. Jason, is he a really good musician like you tell people you're a really good musician? Yeah, we used to think Jason was really good and then we found out he wasn't very good. Oh, really? Wanna, yeah. what Jim, you said you were going to listen to the song tonight. What I don't want to hear your songs anymore. What song? Oh, <laughs> Mike yeah. White song. All right, let him play the Mike let White song. Let him play song. the Mike White. Put on the Mike White song. It's on iTunes. Are you? Did you think you were part of Runaway Train about the kids that were raped? and Runaway Train, train never, never coming, coming back. back. That's about kids. Is, is that, that about were... kids getting raped? Yeah, that's about. <laughs> is it? No, I used it to, is. I used to make love to that. Hey, let's no, talk about. about <laughs> hey, children. hey, let's talk about songs like that. That the urban legends. Uh, I want to. I want to. I want to get a couple of these out. Like Phil you know, Collins in the air tonight. Yeah. I heard that that's about that, that he for real, he dude. saw a dude fucking like drown someone. Yeah, drowns in, drowns in a, in like a lake. And he's he, fishing on the lake, right? And he couldn't like get to him couldn't to help him. him. Yep. And so that's what the I know what you did. Blah blah blah. Is that yep. true? 
about a man who saw another man drown and he didn't try to save him. The, Is that M&M true? M&M no. I, I never. Wait, I can feel it coming. I was there. I saw what you did. I saw it with my own two eyes. Yeah. That's so not what long. I was singing at all. I was singing Runaway Train. No, I know. No. We were too. We're, we're done with Runaway Train. Oh, I made a funny joke. Okay. A great okay. joke okay. about rape. It's my and then segment we moved over. On. Now there's that, <laughs> that song, The Freshman. Oh, we yeah. That's about a pregnant freshman. girl. That's about is it? That's about, that is about she a girl loses going the baby? into abortion. Okay, that is right. Yeah, that's because about an abortion. Uh, for all, you for the life of me, yeah. I, I love yeah. abortions. <laughs> I'm getting <laughs> bored hey, babies hey. now because it hit? really that's feels so abortion. right. Jason, where did you get that photo and did you buy the rights to it? Yeah, where did you get the photo for the Mike White signal, si- single? It's on Facebook. Jason, where did you get you the photo Where did you get the picture? You have to pay for that photo, Jason. okay. If you're gonna put it on as the cover, oh no, it. that 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 photo, yeah, that photo came off of the fucking TuneCore site. That's like they put that up there. All right, uh, that, that right. comes with my that that's part of my package. So you're I putting anything ha- wrong? you're putting hacky hacky photos. Yeah, look at it. It's like a peaceful sunset. Uh, right, someone no, just, someone wrote killer. The, There's already a comment. The Jason, font I'm needs your to lawyer. Wait, let's cool. read the comments. There's only let's one. Read, read the comments. <clears throat> oh, I wrote one. It, why didn't it stay up? They take a while to come out. Jason, hey, Eddie, hey, I Jason wanna, deleted your call. I want to ask something right now. <laughs> I was right? really nice. I want to say something right now. Now, don't say anything until I finish this story because either way, I'm not angry at you. Either way, right? <laughs> but this is, this is the thing, right? So I get the FX uh, pilot and it was all put on the internet and I very rarely read comments about myself, especially on YouTube and stuff because I can't handle it anymore. But when they put this press release, I read the press release and then I thought, oh, cool. And then I thought, oh, there's a few comments under it. And it was all good things. It was all, I can't wait for this sitcom. Oh, Jim deserves a sitcom. Great. So it was all positive, except for one that went, he'll fuck this up like everything else he does in his life. And I was like, who the fuck is that kind? And then it said, Eddie Ift. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was, was that someone? <laughs> I, I wish I had written that. <laughs> oh, I thought you did it. But oh, so I would never write So that. all the fans got shitty at you, like, fuck you, Eddie. You've got to be happy for it. I, oh, I thought... I I saw on your Facebook page or like on our page on Talking Shit where you wrote it and somebody wrote, good, finally he can leave that fucking loser Jason, that dead weight Eddie. Like someone wrote that and uh, no, I never wrote that. I wish I had. Sad story. I wish I had. I'd be fucking proud of it. I I he will fuck this up because it really cut as well. He'll fuck this up like everything else in his life. And I, wow. it is one of the few people in this world that really know how many fuck ups I've done. And <laughs> I was like, Jesus, Eddie, that's... Uh, <laughs> Fucking don't be bitter about the thing. I'm yeah. glad you waited till now instead of like. I forgot. I, th- I started to find it funny. Like the next day, I thought it was funny. I was like, oh, that's funny <laughs> that he wrote that. I was all right with it. I'm not that funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be genius. All right, let's uh, let's play this song. Mike White. Are you gonna sing it? This Jason? this. No, no, it's. Oh. No, you're playing the preview, dude. That's just like about three seconds. You're not 40, fucking buying it's it. 45 seconds. Put it, <laughs> you're trying to trick us into giving you a dollar. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not minute 30. Now. We're cutting it up just like it's we did your dollar. It's a minute 30 now, the preview. Jason, we're not listening to the whole fucking show. Jason, we have the a podcast. preview nope, bit. Nope, it's over. It's over. We're not going to play it now. So no, Jason. Much, uh, it's over. Jason is so mad right Jason. now. The preview is a minute 30. Now, we're not. That wasn't enough. We're not going to play it. We're not listening to three minutes. Let us play a minute 20. Then at 12. Jason, we don't want to pay 99 cents for it. Well, I thought you had your laptop where you already no, had it. No, we have so his. Fuck it. No, but here's what it. we're going to do. Dylan, why Jason, are you so mad? Hear me out. Relax. No. Relax, Super Mario, brother. Fucking, uh, whatever. Look, just put Where's on a, fucking uh, Jason. our side of the All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like a director who won't play hold a on. clip of his hold movie on, on the talk show. Hold on. Everybody relax. What we're going to do is we don't want to pay 99 cents for it. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to do a cut up version of it just like the 99 cents. And I'm going to rip up another dollar anyway. Yeah. Can I get a 20? I'm bored. No, don't fucking play that. It's <laughs> the worst part. It's like you. the only shitty part in the fucking song where you play that, I'm going to tackle you. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. oh. Play right, Jason, it, play it, play Jason it. calm down. I'm going to make a reason for you. If someone's promoting... No, fuck it. Move if on. Hey, so how you doing? If someone's... <laughs> Jason, Jason, if someone's promoting Dude, something... Hi, going, everybody. This is Jason no. Hour from Talking <laughs> Shit with Jim Jeffries and Eddie Ift. Welcome to this Hour of Power uh, segment. <laughs> and here we're going to... Ta- today we're going to talk about the 99%. Hey, everybody, occupy... Occupy! 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 Jim just disconnected his microphone. All right. That was the greatest thing you've now, ever done, now Jim. Now play his fucking song. Play his no, dumb... It's, the, it's fucking the lamest part. The lamest part. What, the beginning, middle, or end? It's gonna be like, like nothing. It's a minute and a half! It's a minute 30, dude. Shh. Tell them to skip it Everyone forward a little bit. Shh. 
That's half the song. It's fine, Mike White, I hope you have a real good time. Mike White, with the douchebags on the couch. Mike Talk White, shit. You're leaving it to poke at me. Mike Talk White, shit. And here is my reply. Oh, here's where. Hey, hey it's pretty Woo! good. Hey. Jason, you sexy homeless beast. <laughs> Uh, you get, He's you get, back at the game. You get your microphone back. Jason, you get your microphone back. This is like an Eddie Van Halen solo. You might sell enough of these to take us to Gordon Ramsay's. So I guess the answer to your question, he sounds pretty much about as talented as Weird Al. Yeah. But, <laughs> the thing is, very good song. But no, that's dope. That's that a good song, dude. Pretty very self-indulgent. <laughs> what, that solo? The solo in the, the middle. Solo it's, like intentional. it's intentional. It's intentional. It's, it's, abs- it's supposed to be. It goes from like reggae to like this absurd solo back to like. Then it, after that, it breaks into like more of like a metal and vibe. It, and, and how, then it goes and back how, to white. And how much of that? <laughs> ben just goes, who's Mike White? He's a guy that paid $1,000 to come on the show to sit in. Now, if you pay $1,000. That's a pretty good song. You get a song written about you. Yeah. So, you get, uh, but the you thing get a is, discount if you're a guest. Is, this is what we thought would happen yeah. when we came up with this idea. Jason would learn a little acoustic ditty that was two minutes long and he'd play it for you in front of you. Then Jason does that. And this isn't, this isn't under the Jim and Eddie banner. Right, <laughs> Jason goes off and records and goes into studios like and a stuff, legitimate song, and yeah. he produces an actual song. Like he goes, it, it, and every, every week I go, I go. I He's go, two thousand in the hole yeah. already, and I'm like this. I'm like this, going, "What are you doing tomorrow?" And he goes, "Laying down the bass for a Mike White song." <laughs> like, like it's like it takes him like four or five. And it's days. over. Mike White was already here Mike, like a Mike, month ago. Mike, Mike, Mike probably won't even hear it. <laughs> and if he sells 40 songs don't tell him that you spiral into debt you're homeless <laughs> but the best is he's already there he's already no, homeless good. and he's doesn't really? there. he doesn't have a nice. job yet he'll he spend he'll spend three to four weeks on one song then how many how many songs have you sold total like a hundred <laughs> how many, how many, how many songs like 137 songs or something like that <laughs> now, yeah. how, how many <laughs> songs have you written though <laughs> oh five 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 songs so 20 20 25 well most of them are just the theme song that are downloaded though. oh yeah so how many theme songs are downloaded most of that the bulk of that like 136 90? yeah no like there's like a handful on, on some other songs <laughs> well I bought the theme song from you yeah I bought, I bought it too I think everybody in the room I, I, totally I, because I, I bought two I, I felt bad but you know what I hate more than that is when I'm going through my albums <laughs> on my phone I agree. and Jason's head comes up I'm like oh, <laughs> fuck me. I always put mine on shuffle and because I'll be driving is- <laughs> and all of a sudden da na 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 to douchebag fast so I just put how much did you put in his pocket a dollar put a dollar hey I don't believe you got that show it to me <laughs> Wait, he's gonna rip it. He's gonna rip it. He's Thank gonna you so rip much. It. Why would you let him? No, no, no. That's it. far sides. It's far sides. No, far side gave it to him. Come on. You wanna let far? Good. You get. He's ripping. Eddie's ripping. It's not your dollar to rip, Eddie. It's far sides. You you owe far side a dollar. I owe you a dollar. I couldn't let you give that to him. Every year, you have thousands of new bills because of people like you. Look at the floor. Look at this. There's fives and you guys are making it rain big time with with little pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how poor man makes it rain. You missed one dollar the... bill confetti. You missed the last episode, but I made it rain pretty hard. Really? She I made it rain hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We rubbed Finn the clit. Do... She jiggled her tits and we pierced. Her I mean, clit. it didn't really jiggle much, but it, uh, what you jiggled? You, we you pierced her I mean, little jiggle. Well, we pierced her clit because it's a dead clit. <laughs> what? The blows the powder. She has, she has a, a dead clit. Do you have a dead clit? Do you have a sensitive clit? 
Lindsay? Do you have a dead clit? Like, do you wait, like, have a dead clit? No, no, no. Now. If, if I rub your clit right now, like I'm not it going gets to. Down. But if I just touched it, do you have a little quiver or does it take yeah, a lot of rubbing? A quiver, sure, yeah. Jason, can you write a song called Lindsay's Got a Dead if Clit? If it died, yes. <laughs> if it died, would you put like a, it's have like a, a little miniature funeral total. right down there? Guadalupe, the thing is, I, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to search clip. the internet to find a song that's similar to Mike White. Jason. Good luck, Jimmy. Jason. If it could die. No, Jason, don't write a song about my dead clit. a little miniature funeral right there? Write a song your, about my dead uterus. Your, you have a head headstone, and then the bush is like the lawn in front of it. She, she does have a bush, don't you? Yeah, you have a I little bit a, of bush. Don't no, you? not at the moment. No, I'm good. What do you have? Are you bald or you have a strip? She's gonna show us. No, I'm good. What, good. What does good mean? <laughs> do you, good is like average. Do you shave it or do you yeah, trim no, it? Average in what country? I yeah, I shave it. <laughs> Do you borrow? Do you borrow Lily's really? weed whacker? No, <laughs> I don't borrow weed whacker. I could, but I choose not to. Lin- Lindsay, um, we're doing a live show coming up. Are you going to come to that? Where's the live show? At w- w- next to the sausage factory. Oh, I, it's in Venice. I okay. think you would be a good person to walk the crowd and um, ask questions in the audience because we're going to have audience participation yeah, no, during the show. Great. Because it, otherwise, what's the use of a live show? Sure. Um, do I get transportation there, or am I? You, I get, you can bicycle there. Jason All right, will ride so, you on there. His handlebars. So, so Jason will be playing the. Are we in um, a tandem? The sticking together, ripped up money game. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to have gonna, a dunking booth? Farside's going to have a shirt Jason, off the whole why? episode. Don't you understand that all the little games I invent for you are simple. It involves tearing up money and a bit of sticky tape, and then you go, are we going to have a dunking booth? No. No, we're <laughs> no not going to have a dunking face. booth. Ben Glebe's just going to eat food What about the whole a spank episode? station? Down. I could probably put down like... Sausages. I would guess 20 tacos in the course of like a two-hour show. Oh, no, I, I sausages love eating, man. Can you eat sausages. He's, he's Jewish. He's door. Jewish. You can't eat pork. So I'm in the same body type. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, can you eat pork? You, Do you eat pork? I eat everything, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, eat, I, 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 can, I can eat and eat. I, I, I used to be worse before my tablets went to shit, and now Jim, I have to Jim, actually work Jim, it. you have never seen anything like what he can do. Yeah. Ben. I'm telling you, I've, we could put I him in a eating contest. Yeah, you could put him in a competitive eating contest. I'll tell you what. one one I'll tell you what. After the sitcom's filmed, if you would like to come back in... In, let's do it in January. Yeah, and I, I'm laying the gauntlet right now. Oh, really? We'll have an In and Out Burger double double competition. How many? How many could you have, Ben? I have a question. Can we instead of double double? Can we make it how many single burgers? The number will climb more. It'd be more exciting. Because there's no, more that's bread. All bread. That's all bread. It's all bread. It's all bread. Double double actually help more anything. manly. Oh, so you're afraid of bread. Your strength is meat. My strength might be bread. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, I'll, tell you what. I'll tell you what. I lay down the gauntlet. You to pick the food. All right. I get to pick any food? No, no. From sushi, I'll go- fucking beat anybody. I don't no, know. I'll beat, I don't a, know. I'll beat a sumo wrestler. I can, have, can eat sushi. I can have 80 pieces of sushi. I can do sure. 80 pieces of really? sushi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'd rather have double doubles. I'd rather have it so that we feel ill. All right. Sushi well, you can no, do see, and just feel all right at the end. That's true, but I'm trying to get all right. I mean, for, I'll do it for the podcast. I'm trying to get past those days where I'm trying to lose weight and not be a fat asshole. But yeah, one I know, night, I know, but one, one day is fine. We're gonna do it. Yeah, there's You're one off. Shit it all I think out. in and out, here's what we'll do. We'll start with an in with the double double, and then we single burgers from there. All right, so we'll have to purchase at least. Well, I think we need two double doubles to start off with. Let's no, go right I, now. Okay, the, the point is, I had. I had Jason, no. Jason just Jason tried to work this in a free, free, free dinner. Free dinner, Let's do a Jason steak. Hour. Biggest steak we can I, do. I, no, I had three double doubles by accident once. <laughs> what? <laughs> Remember when we were coming back from the Dwarf Convention? Well, you might right. be better uh, at double hold on. doubles than Hold me. on. Here's what I'm going to do. I can we'll, be anybody in we'll salad. Give, we'll give them the plug and we'll make it done. I've been to Amarillo, Texas. I've been to the Big Texan where they have the 82-ounce steak or whatever the fuck it is. It's the biggest steak in the world. And you sit at a table and you eat this thing. Yeah. But you have to eat the baked potato, the shrimp cocktail, the salad. No yeah, problem. No, no problem. No, no, okay. no, 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 I, want, I want it Jim, just to be. Jim, I want that Jim, meal. This steak is the size well, I'm not of going out to a restaurant. We're doing it here in the no, house. No, 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 no. I will have them ship the food. Food here, we will cook it. I'm in, and you will eat the fucking giant steak. I'm I prefer totally burgers because then burgers are a tangible I'm counting in. thing. No, if you're on the radio, the if you're on the radio, you go. I've eaten a portion of steak. Yeah, but if I'm, I'm sensing, half, I'm if, sensing if, that's true. If we can go number three. Wait, no, I'm a two. Roy, I'm Roy, you. Roy, Google the big Texan. That's why it should be tacos then, or wings. Let's do chicken Just, wings, or tenders, or or or. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with chicken what wings, about tenders. Vegan apple pie? I, I, I'm happy with hot dogs, hamburgers. Big Macs would be a big one for me. I love Big Macs. How about pussy? I can do. Let's just eat pussy. I reckon I can do seven big there Macs. There are women here. You'll Eddie. win that for sure. Not yours. I, I, you have a huge <laughs> burger capacity, I can tell. I have a big burger capacity. I don't have a huge burger capacity. I can do about three okay, burgers. It, what, it, what is the big... T- it's 72 ounces of steak. 
I would. I could eat that probably in, in like 15 minutes. <laughs> Not too many people have ever succeeded in that one. I can eat a 72 ounce steak. I'm telling you. No. Look, at it, look at it next to the girl. Look at how fucking big it. Go to the girl. Click the it's cowboy not a problem. chick. Look at the size yeah, I'm, of that I'm not, thing. I'm not, not a problem. I'm not nervous of that one at all. I can put that down easy. Are you easy. fucking... 72 ounces, I can put that down dude? easy. That's bigger than your tummy. Yeah, a lot. Do you understand a 72-ounce steak? Listen, I can do that. I want to yeah. do something we can count off, whether it be hot dogs, burgers, anything that's not dessert. I'm not going to do donuts it's or anything. too bad there sweet. isn't White Castle out here, huh? You can do sliders. Salad, dude. You do a slider contest. We'll do salad. You know what we should do? An eclectic meal. We should be like one double-double, a salad, a taco. That's from a like, great idea. From like Talk no, about. it's gonna yeah. be if it's uniform. It's a, no, it's a set. It will be, menu. but there's it'll, an order. Yeah, it'll be an order. It'll be like all right, a but it all it all has yeah. to be. It all, it all has to be. Shh. That's how it, the eating contest that I won. Not fear factor. We did it. Jason. It all has to be fast food then. So we'll have to go one Del Taco, right. one Taco Bell, one. Yeah. In and out. Ray's Ray's listening. Let's go. Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> I got one for you. It's twelve fast food restaurants in twelve hours. If you have to order the full meal. If they ask you if you want something extra, you have to take it. So you're suggesting a 12-hour podcast? All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's, here, here's, here's the intense. one. Here's the one so it's fair. Yeah. Your height and subway. Oh, yes. What do you say? Yes. Yeah. Your height subway, and subway. Uh, your height and subway? That's God a damn. good idea. A six I mean, footer. I'll race you on it. We'll buy two six-foot sandwiches. And we'll measure, keep well, measuring, well, the and six see who gets farther. See who yeah, gets farther right, on six right, foot party Jim, I don't think you know I'm what you're doing. I've that. Seen Jim, you can't eat six. Jim, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. I could, I could easy put down. I'm pretty sure I could feel comfortable putting down two and a half, three, pretty, pretty quick. Not feel too full yet. I reckon. I, well, I've done two feet of Subway and been all right with oh, it. Two. Sometimes sitting, I yeah. get yeah. too drunk at the end of a night. Yeah, yeah. I'll mix it up very okay. huge. I'll go okay. like turkey and tuna, man. We have. These are the rules. You have to have one protein. on each sandwich. Okay. Uh, cheese on each one. Cheese on each one. Yeah, that's All right. that's, that's All not right. kosher. Cheese and meat together. Shut up, Jason. <laughs> now, <laughs> che- no, no, one, don't tell him to shut. One up. protein. Kill yourself. <laughs> one pro- <laughs> One protein. That feels one better. cheese. One condiment and salad is optional. Sure. Or we, you gotta have lettuce as well. You gotta have lettuce. No, yeah. it's gotta be uniform. You guys are eating the you same. You gotta have lettuce. You have to eat the All same right. Thing. Okay. Okay. So let's start off. We'll start off with the cheese and steak, something heavy, and we'll work backwards. Okay. Sure. And then we'll do like a teriyaki chicken. Okay. And then we'll go down to like. No, no, the- no, no, not teriyaki chicken. If you want to do that first one, you said cheese and steak. Yeah. Second one is like a turkey. Do you guys we're realize? Gonna go like, we're going to power through one. Veggies. Hold on. Do you guys yeah. realize you're having this conversation? Ernie's falling asleep. <laughs> going, I could do that fucking for breakfast. And Jason, Ernie, do you want to play? And Jason's licking his lips. <laughs> if, if anyone else wants to play, I'll play. No well, Jason has way. to tape together and all the money on the I'm floor. I'm sure and and Jim, <laughs> we have to wrap it up with. Th- <laughs> as far as I just took his glasses off like Look he's Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I love our side. We fucking wrap it up. Three scoops of ice cream at the very end. Jesus. No, no, but then no, but it ends when someone stops. Oh yeah, right, right. So we have to get. Ex- more like we, ha- we get we get excess sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> we get excess sandwiches. The ones we don't eat, everyone else can eat right, as food. But if right. we get through them, but we we get well, we, we get twelve feet of sandwiches. Why don't we get those party ones? True. You know the subway party ones. No, I like those the I like stuff. the roll ones. Though, those big ones. Like I want to eat rolls. So I sure. can just got it. Shove. Right, gut, gut, are you going to do gut. like but Joey Chestnut stuff? However, where you dunk. Dunk the wait, roll wait. in water. I wouldn't need to. There's an argument for the fucking two six feet though, because then you put them on the on the table side by side. You can film it too, and we can literally just keep chomping through it, yeah. and cut it into like short little pieces. Yeah. Can we get meatballs. Piece, go, boom, boom, <laughs> we could probably do sections. You can mix it up as it goes. Yeah, yeah. It goes. yeah. yeah. one it foot this, one foot that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How's yeah. the how's the bread on that? It's good. It's the same bread, but they just twist it and then bake it. Is uh, it's like three. But it's a big wide sandwich. It's hard to eat. Did you ever, exactly did you ever work at Subway? Yeah. yeah. Is it thin like that? <laughs> <laughs> Jason worked at Subway instead of one in high school. Six feet. Jason worked. It was my the... second job. Where my today's far is brought to you by Eddie Ift. Yeah. It's still going. Jesus. Oh god. Oh oh. Yeah, Mark, oh. Your, your thing's gonna stink. Yeah. Your foam's gonna yeah. stink. <laughs> <laughs> here, that foam grabs here. it. <laughs> Oh! Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, no, I don't want to know. I'm not interested. Try it, try it. I will kill you if you bring it in my face. No! I will ki- oh, it's like when you're in Florida and you're driving and all of a sudden you hit the swamp <laughs> by the side yeah. and that weird swamp smell comes up. Out that's, of just, that's just the old people that oh live down there. <laughs> Those are dead We can old figure people. out the really terms later. Ah! We'll just do it. Yeah. Yeah. It still smells. Okay, so calm down, calm down. This is the thing. Subway competition. Yeah. We're going to be doing it. 
Ben's coming back for an episode. We'll have to do it in January because we're running out of time before then, before you go on holidays. Time to train, I like time it. To tra- yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, 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 like want, I want to I get some... I got a photo shoot in November I want to look good for. Sure, sure. I, know, I want to look nice. Well, uh, although January, we're very close to pilot season, but I'll do it. One night. It's not one, gonna night do one night. One night won't do it. Won't do it. You're going to shit it all out. Yeah, exactly. Let's go to Subway now. I'm on Subway right now. I could race you how fast you can finish a foot long. That'll be a good radio it's one. It's only open quick. for 45 more minutes. How right. fast can Jason, you Jason, get on your bike. Get yeah. on your bike. I'll, I will race him. I have a specific order. Can we get yeah. turkey sub? Turkey sub? I don't like turkey. turkey. What do you want? Turkey is fucking I like the meatballs. Awesome. We should have whatever stuff you want. Can Finish I get white chip one, macadamia and cookies, please? All right. Please. You're not going to. What the f- J- Jason. Wait, why don't we turn this into a second episode? Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's do another episode. I know, but Jason has to go get it. get it right now. Wait, well, let's do that. How many could you guys legitimately? How many? I'm not going to overeat because I'm trying to diet at the moment. But I, I will have two I, dinners one tonight. I will, still, I, I will, I will race, race on one. in one one. Okay. I'll race you on one. So what do you want? Right. What's the sandwich? I'll, I'll have a, Here's what I need. Okay, you go first. I'll have a. It's mi- got to be uniform. No, it's not. We're yeah. doing our own. No, he no. likes meatball. I like turkey. Why not? No, Who uniform. can race on one sandwich? Because, because it has to do with the consistency. Way more so. I'm not going meatball. How about we go? The, how about we go the melt then? That has the ham, the ham, the turkey, and the thing. The subway melt. All right. I'll have a subway melt, and my condiment I will have because I'm racing will just be simple mayonnaise. Please, and do we have to have lettuce and tomato? Yes, my co- no. You don't need tomato. Lettuce though. Lettuce. I want mustard instead of mayonnaise. Okay, mustard instead of mayonnaise is very important, and a, a ton of lettuce. Ton of lettuce, that's oil and vinegar, that's salt and pepper. Water. I want, no. I want lettuce and red onion on mine. Lots of red onions, and actually throw in some olives. I want to enjoy it. Yeah. I want ton of no olives of mine. I want ton of lettuce, right? This is complete. This is oil and vinegar, podcast salt ever. and pepper. People are like, I'm listening to a podcast where guys are giving a subway. Order. I gotta go because I want to eat and I gotta keep this weight off. <laughs> you guys, Lindsay's having flashbacks. Guys, I gotta go. I'm getting hungry and and I can only oh, eat rice and beans. Food on the All right, Jason, get on your bike and go do can't it. Look and good. Jason, do you want a sandwich? Yes. Yeah. Too bad. All right, whatever. <laughs> Jason, tape together the money on the floor. I'm excited about this, Jim. Mm. This is like some old Western shit right uh, here. Do we have money? We're about for to do it at the table. Are you ending this podcast? Um, we got yeah, we got podcast money. Yeah, 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 in the house. Yeah, I don't like giving Jason my credit card. Though. What can I throw in, fellas? I'm what can I throw cash. in? I'm giving you cash, Jason. That's right. I want sure. the change. Twenty dollar. Twenty dollar foot long. Twenty dollar foot long. God, I ate so much tonight already. I ate so much already. But I'm ready anyway. It doesn't matter. You're looking thinner, though. Thank you. Everybody tells me that. I've gained weight for sure. Yeah, I sometimes people, some of people weird. say it to me, but it's so weird. But I, I've lost weight recently. I don't look any thinner. I've lost like 10 pounds, and I look like a little tiny bit thinner. Wouldn't that be a good, like, horrible movie? Is like a guy who keeps eating, and people think he's getting skinnier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had my body fat percentage taken the other day. What phase, are, what phase are you in your life right now? Are you drinking and partying a lot? Or are you like no, sober Jason, living? on your bike, hurry sober up. Sober living? I'm 11% body fat. Oh my God. Can you make sure that mine's toasted and melted nice and lovely? That's good for an old man. Mine not toasted, please. You reckon that's soft? Yo, man? yo, yo. Mine not toasted, please, for real. Not toasted and yeah, on Jim, white bread, idea. please. White bread. Gone for toasting. Oh, Tell me All right, no white toasting, bread. no toasting. No, no toasting, toast. toasting don't, white don't bread. Toasting. White bread. Ernie, you're going to be doing some editing. I don't, I've never had a, a speed competition. I don't think this will be hard for me. How, how quick do you reckon you can hurt. do it? Where are you going? Oh, interesting. Put our bets down. Lindsay, when you do Think of your show, number two. You think of your leave. number two. What do you mean? This show's still... Uh, you, you've got guns now, Lindsay. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I think I can do it in like three and a half to four minutes. I think I can do it in 2.30. 2.30? We're yeah. going to do a third I'll step episode. it up. I'll step up my game. 2.30. I don't, I don't know. I've you never, can't I've do never. 2.30. I'm trying to think of... That's really fast. <laughs> yeah, 2.30. 2 minutes 30. I can get close to 3, I think. 2.30 is the guess. Uh, you know what? Here's the deal. We're also going to take bets. We're all going to bet dollars. Just a dollar. And then we're all... Jason's gone. We're all going to bet and... Uh, at the end, after whoever wins, they're going to give the money to Jason, but we're going to rip it all up in front of him before we give it to him. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just ripping up our own money. It's not even his. Because yeah, not- the thing is, we used to take his money off him and rip it up. It's and now the worst it's like prank we, ever. Now it's like we would have given it to you, okay, but then, we're ripping then it up. Here's the deal. If Jason wins the bet, we all rip up our money and give it to him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but here's the deal. Everybody is going to place their bets or just betting a dollar in the room right now. I want to see who you're going to bet on. I know for sure, Jim, you're, you're one of my best friends in the world. I'm with you on everything, but I'm sorry. I'm I bet you're wrong you. about that. Uh, uh, <laughs> going with Glebe, huh? You're going, with, you're going uh, on the Glebe squad. Got, I've seen this kid eat. Nice. Jim. You don't know what you're getting. Your loyal friend, Eddie. Give it, give it up right here. I'm, I, you're a very I'm, loyal I'm on friend. I got a buck on Glebe. 
Now, on, far side, he's on the Meep Squad, everybody. Come here, you're, with your new tattoo, who do you got? Who's your bet? I think on? you're underestimating me. Jim, what's going on, Jim? Yeah. You're betting Jim. Huh? <laughs> Just because you got the guy's name on your okay. back, you don't have to bet so with we him. Got, we got a dollar. Far side's got a dollar on. Uh, who are you betting on, Sal Man? I'm going to go Jim. Everyone loves the underdog, man. We'll hey, yeah. There you go. Now, Roy okay. boy, not everybody. Uh, I got one. I got one dollar on Jim. He seems hungrier. Oh wow! wow. Everybody's betting on Jim except Eddie. Chris? We're gonna make some money. Me and you, Eddie. I got money on Glebe. Yeah, wow. thanks, brother. Give I it know, up, brother. So we got two dollars on Glebe, and we got three dollars right now on Jim. Yep. And I'm then- a fast eater. Everyone comments on how fast I am. I eat pretty slow, actually, but like I can make a subway sandwich really? last last forty minutes. Well, why but, would you just do this to no, me? No, because I can eat fast. I got skills in this oh. in, the, in eating. I just like to enjoy it. I can put the thing back. I've been hungry and drunk sometimes. I probably finish a subway in my life probably in like 80 seconds before. I saw him. Listen, we went to Wendy's one night through a drive-thru. You know what we should have yeah. done? Don't cut it's it. A, yeah. Ring him up. Don't cut it so it's in one thing. Do you know? Oh, do you want to no, go, you go half, six? Half. You want to go half? Jim, half. we went through a drive-thru at Wendy's. <laughs> he ordered everything on the menu, including the mandarin oranges. <laughs> Who gets the mandarin? Ate it all, no problem. Mandarin oranges, deli chili, sandwiches, burgers, burgers, chicken he tenders. Got, he got the. He got the. Focaccia. When I'm drunk, I can eat. Oh, I can eat anything I'm drunk. Whatever. Okay, anything I'm drunk. I recently left this premiere party on Hollywood Boulevard at Supper Club, right? It was this uh, Rage video game premiere, and I walk right outside, I get a street hot dog, finish it in five seconds, walk f- 10 more stores, buy another street hot dog, finish it, walk a block and a half more, go to the Roosevelt, 25 degrees, and eat a, order a salad. How about get a I salad? Go? They got the best burgers there. I know. I wanted to kind of slow down. It's kind of it's the thing is, I've never, I've never eaten half a pizza. It doesn't matter how big the pizza is. Right. I'll eat the whole thing. Oh, really? I, well, no, I'm like I that with sugar. It. I finish. If I'm eating candy, I will fucking finish. Like, if it's like, you know, like, if you look at, like, the calories on it, it's like one serving is like 250 calories. But if you eat the whole bag, it's like 10,000 calories. Yeah. I will fucking finish yeah. a bag of All candy. Right. So uh, just <laughs> stay tuned. Uh, Jim's going Jim's to get food and, and wait for the next I'll episode to get ready. I want to thank Ben Glebe. He's going to be back on the next episode. If Thanks, you like brother. this one, you're going to be like, holy fuck, I can't wait to hear the contest. If you didn't like this episode, you're going to be like, holy fuck, I'm going to have to wait a long time <laughs> to listen to another episode where Ben's not on the show. Uh, but uh, Sorry, J- everybody. Jason's out getting the food. We're going to have another episode. You guys have been, uh, you guys have not been great. We have been great. This has been a great episode. You were fantastic. Listeners, you're, you're okay. You, you, lately, you've not been doing what... We like when you fucking send in your shit and you're funny. So get to our website, jimandeddytalkshit.com. Go to our fucking fan pages. All the shits. Do everything. Come to our shows. Whatever the fuck. Go fuck yourself. Thank you, everyone, and good night. Talking shit.